art students, good to see you. So we are going to do, uh, surprisingly, uh, we're going to do an art project. If you see, if you're looking at me, we're probably going to do some kind of drawing going on, uh, create some kind of drawing. And today, it, you know, we're, it's about fall, almost winter, and there's a famous image, uh, what we call a horn of plenty. And it is an image of kind of a, a wicker basket that looks kind of like a horn with a lot of food coming out of it. Uh, or other um, fall-like wintry things. And it's supposed to symbolize being grateful or thankful for uh, what we have, which is very timely for this kind of, this part of the year. And we're going to look at some examples. Uh, you probably are already have looked at some examples. And I'm gonna show you how to draw a horn of plenty. And you can follow along and copy mine and add your own color as you see fit. But then you could also add your own things in the horn of plenty uh, that you are thankful for. We're gonna focus on food. And we probably already looked at some images that use food as the subject. Remember, subject is the thing the artwork is about in uh, their painting and drawing. So let's go ahead and look at my example, and I look forward to seeing what you do. Let's get going. Okay, students. So we're going to draw a horn of plenty, which I've described as being sort of this weird shaped basket, and you'll see when I draw it, that has traditionally fruits and vegetables in it to show uh, what you're thankful for. You can add things in there, but let me go ahead and uh, I'm going to show you how to draw this. We're going to start off and I'm going to draw a curved line like this. Remember, look at my paper. I'm making it pretty big, right? I'm filling this paper. Then I'm going to draw the curve down. This is what kind of makes it a horn. And then another line up here, okay? Now, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna start another line around here, but curve it around to about here. This is sort of the, the horn is empty, right? And there's gonna be things that you can put in it. Now, this is up to you to fill it. I'm gonna fill it with the, uh, the traditional, like fruits and vegetables, and you can follow along. But if there's other things you wanna be thankful for, uh, you can always put that in there. Um, so I might put, Let's see, a banana, I like bananas. Um, I might put an apple in here. Now, if I'm going fast, you know, pause it, you can watch it again. Um, let's see what else I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put some grapes, right? Grapes are circles. And even though this tends to be more of a fall, winter thing, you could put whatever you wanted in here. So I'm gonna put a part of a pumpkin. Now I'm, gonna I'm not gonna draw the pumpkin bottom because I want to put something in front of the uh, pumpkin, all right? I think I'm gonna put, hmm, what am I gonna put? I think I'll put some corn. I like corn. So I'm gonna kind of draw these ovals. All right, and I'm gonna draw a line like this and a line like this, same here, this line like this. And then I'm gonna draw kind of a grid. Okay, and let's see, what else could I put in here? Oh, carrots, yeah. I'm not a fan, a big fan of eating carrots raw, but this is how I draw the kind of like the long football shape. And I'll put some leaves back here because carrots have those green leaves. Um, let's see what else. I'll put, I'll put a, a pear. I like pears. They're not my favorite, but they're all right. And I'm gonna put some almonds down here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and extend that line. You can, I'm gonna put another pear here. All right. And then maybe I'll put another apple. I usually having a lot of apples is good. Um, I'm also going to, see this line here? I'm gonna make some lines curve like this. And then I'm gonna just draw a couple lines like that. All right, now you could draw toys in here if you wanted. Um, I'm trying to think of what else you might put in here that you do video games, uh, you could put that's what you're into, dolls, um, or you could stick with the fruit, usually that's good, or you could also add hamburgers, you know, if you wanted to change this up. 
So definitely feel free to pause it and watch it again if you think I'm going too fast and you kind of want to see how I draw something. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and speed this up while I color it, okay? So you can see how I'm going to do this, all right? Um, Now, remember that uh, you don't have to use crayons. I'm using crayons, but if you have colored pencils, use those. If you prefer markers, you can also use markers. So just use what coloring device. If you only have a pencil, just you know shade with that, and that would be fine too. All right, let's speed this up. Okay, here's, so here is my finished horn of plenty. I look forward to seeing what you do. I bet it'll be great. All right.